All right, you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to continue in this series uh, following Major Kiefer's X, this brand, my own brand, clothing brand, to the point of launch. Okay, so I've decided to start this series to take you guys along a few of the experiences, tricks, tips, uh, <laughs> different websites I've used, mistakes I've made, everything, everything that's happened in, in order, chronological order, to go from absolutely nothing to a brand that you know people are starting to talk about. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is So I want to give you guys a bit of a journey, step by step, as to how I got there. Okay, I think this is going to inspire people to who are thinking about doing this uh, to either think twice about it or just go head first into it. There's definitely some mistakes and things that I've made, but look, we're going to get into all that. Today's video, you've got your social media platforms. You've got your platforms to start posting content. That is how you're going to get eyes to this brand. It's, yeah, it's, it's all well and good telling people you know. Tell your friends, tell your family, um, but as far as building a business, an entity of its own, a, bit, a brand, you're going to need social media. So we've got, fate. we talked about Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube and a website that you can uh, set up as a landing page before you've got products, before you actually start to stock your website up. Set it up as a landing page with a little blurb about what your uh, business is about. You know, if they, if they wanna, if you direct traffic to that website, you want to get something out of it before you can actually sell something. So what you can get is them to put their email address in and then you can get this list of email addresses, which is absolute gold. Okay, these are your first fans. These are your number one OGs, the ones putting your putting their email addresses into this landing page. So, with that said, okay, once you, you've got a few email addresses, you might have, you know, somehow received a few followers on Instagram, Facebook, all that. It's going to be slow. It's going to be hard. But if you believe in yourself, if you believe that your products are good enough, it's not hard to promote it and feel good about it. Let's say you're in a sales job, okay, imagine this, you're in a sales job, you're going door to door, knocking, trying to sell a product that you're not passionate about. You don't believe in it. It's terrible. It's the worst job in the world. So, hopefully, if this is your own brand, your own stuff, you are gonna be feel proud about it, you are gonna feel good about the logo, and you're gonna wanna promote it. So it's not gonna be hard. Okay, so you need it's it, it's going to be it's going to come down to documenting rather than trying to get something perfect to post. All right, these are your first few posts. These are your first few documented photos, videos, whatever you want to post. But it's 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 raw. This is OG stuff. This is right at the beginning, and people appreciate that. Okay, they do. You don't need your perfect shot. You don't need the perfect piece of content, uh, piece of text to go with the picture. You don't, not in these early stages anyway. You just need to be real. You need to believe in yourself. You need to try and connect on a personal basis to these early fans that are coming to your brand. And you know, one way of doing that is, is giveaways. Before you get your actual products designed properly, your clothing with the manufacturer, you are going to produce just little samples and giveaways. Giveaways was always gonna be my you know, angle to try and get people around the brand and, and, and excited about it before I actually had products to sell. So, you know, giveaways are a great opportunity to, to, to get your stuff out there. If you can find 10 people that enter your giveaway by commenting two more people underneath each of them, you've got 30 people that have seen your brand. If a couple, you know, if, if 10 of those extra 20 that got tagged tag another two people, that's 50. And it just goes on and on and on. Depending on how good your product is and depending on how many eyes you can get to it is going to determine how many entries you've got. And, and that's how I built Major Key Physiques from the ground up. That's how I started it. I went and purchased blank t-shirts, blank long, long sleeve tops, blank jumpers, blank hoodies. I went to my local screen printer. I got the prints done. Okay, I paid for the hoodies, I paid for the jumpers, everything. I then went to the screen printer, screen printer, paid for the print. Okay, there's no packaging, there's no proper tags, which made me feel shit. I, I, you know, I never wanted to send anything out to anybody unless it had major key physiques on the tag. But what I realized was that if you want that, 
If you want to get your stuff fully designed from the ground up, you're going to have to find a manufacturer, but before that, you're going to have to get tech packs made. And I didn't know anything about that. So before all that happened, I'm going to go through that in a future video, all I could do was go and buy blanks, get them printed, no tags, no packaging, nothing, and start giving them away. And that's exactly what I did. I started wearing them myself as much as I could. Every time I went to the gym, I'd always have MKP on. And regardless of, it, of, of whether anyone says anything to you, they're seeing it. Especially when you've got a, a bold, you know, easy to read, sort of easy to, you know, there's nothing else around. This is, this is it, MKP. You can't help but look at it and say, MKP, what's that? What is it? Well, it's Major Key Physiques. So, look, this is organic shit. This is really, you know, I keep saying it's OG stuff. It is OG stuff. Anyone that wants to support you in this early stage is either going to be a friend, a uh, family, or someone who already follows you on your social media platforms. If you're starting this with no, no platform, no audience, nothing, man, man, that's going to be hard. See, I came into this wanting a product that I could sell because of the fact that I had a YouTube channel and I had an Instagram page with a decent amount of following. For the longest time, I've thought to myself, I need something. I need a product. I need a business so that these eyes that want to support me and possibly, you know, like the stuff, like the clothing, regard like this is, this is a separate entity to me. People that came along at first supported this because they supported me. But now we're getting to the point where we're getting people following the brand that have no, no idea that I'm even behind it, which is fucking awesome. We're getting over that point. You know, we're starting to fucking creep up there and it's fantastic. So that's why I started this video series to bring you guys along for the ride. Now, so I got my sample clothing done. Um, I started taking pictures. Now you don't need a photo studio. All you need is a plain background. I could do it. I could do it here. Well, take that shit off. I could do it here with a white background. You can do it with bricks. You can do it with a black background. Anything that's nice and plain, you're going to stand there as the model because no one else is, unless you want to pay them, unless you've got like a really hot friend or hot girl or, or like a good looking guy, um, they can do it for you. But look, you're going to need pictures. You're going to need pictures of you or some other people in this gear, possibly the people that enter the giveaways. Okay, you're going to expect them to receive it. But if they want to be involved in the brand, you know, you, you can offer them to send you pictures. You'll post their pictures on your page. That's getting them exposure if they're into that. It's helping you with more product pictures. It's helping get your brand out there. People are coming to your page, seeing different people wearing your stuff, and they think it's a legit business. But it's not yet. <laughs> it's not. You guys know that. I know that, but they don't. So, that's what we do. And we do it over and over again. Giveaway after giveaway after giveaway. Not too often, but I'll tell you what. It will gain traction. It will over time. Now don't get 50 of the same garment printed. I got five black long sleeve tops, five white long sleeve tops, five hoodies, five grey hoodies, five black hoodies, five uh, black jumpers and five grey jumpers. So that was 30 garments altogether. No, was it? Yeah, no, so I got t-shirts and singlets as well. So I think I, think I got 50 garments um, altogether in black, whites and greys, something like 50. It cost me, but I had faith and I had belief. And that's all you need to start convincing other people of your belief. So that would have to be my big tip for this video would be to don't worry about manufacturers. Don't worry about anything huge. At first, just get your garments in the size and the colors that you'd like. Get something printed on the front, depending on, you know, if you've got something down the sleeves, you know, it doesn't matter where it is. You can still get it done. You can. So with that said, head down to your local screen printer with your blank tops, get them, give them the, the file, the logo file that you've had designed. Now I, I talked about that in the previous video. I go to fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. There are plenty of other websites out there. This is a freelancing website. You pay up front, you give them your ideas, they send you back a, a, a file or a logo or a design or a, a website design. I mean, you can get animations done, you can get anything done, but I got this done. So they sent me back the files that I needed. I took these files to the screen printer, they printed this onto this top, and uh, 
Bob's your uncle. And I had things to start taking photos of and start giving away. That's how I did it. Okay? That's how I did it. You make your photos look good. You do a little bit of research on how to adjust your exposure. <clears throat> I just told you about getting backgrounds. Um, you know, with cameras these days, with the DSLR, even with the iPhones and Samsungs, if you, fo if you go close onto something, you focus on that and you make the background blurry, automatic professional looking photo, automatically. You see someone standing there, look, if I come up, if I come up like this, okay, and I'm focused and everything else behind me is, is uh, well, that's not blurred, but everything else is blurred. It just gives it, it gives it that depth. It makes it look really good. And so those are the kind of pictures that you want to start using. Although, although, it's all about documenting and creating, not trying to get that perfect picture. So with that being said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you have to start posting something or else you have the, or else, what are you going to do with this shit? Get it out there, man. Get it out there. Give it to your family and friends, but just know that you have invested money into this. It's probably cost you, you know, $25 per piece at least, maybe 30, 40. So um, you want to get something, you know, from it. You at least want to know that, that hopefully the person that's receiving this stuff, whether it's through a giveaway or whether it's just you giving it, giving it to them um, because they, they might hit you up for it. I mean, you start a clothing business on Instagram, you're going to start getting DMs asking to be influencers. If you've got a good looking product, you are. And so it's going to be up to you in these early stages or you've got these samples. Why not send something out for free? If they're going to wear it around the gym, that's all you can ask for and that's all I've ever asked for. I won't be asking for nothing else. If they wear it, if I can get 5, 10, 15, 20 more eyes see this brand through me sending something free out to them, it's a win-win. Anyway guys, that's enough for today. If you have enjoyed this video, if you're enjoying this series, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you back here very soon for the next one in the series. Peace.